Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech and another gaming news video with myself, Amata. Today is the 26th of April and I have yet more news for you today concerning EA as their quote-unquote streamlining process continues as they have reportedly cut about 10% of their workforce and they have officially confirmed the layoffs today with this official statement. In recent weeks, EA has aligned all elements of its organisational structure behind priorities in new technologies and mobile. This has led to some difficult decisions to reduce the workforce in some locations. We are extremely grateful for the contributions made by each of our employees. Those that are leaving EA will be missed by their colleagues and friends. These are hard but essential changes as we focus on delivering great games and showing players around the world why to spend their time with us. Now they did decline to actually officially specify the exact number of studios and staff affected, however Kotaku has cited a couple of sources claiming that, as I said, as many as 10% of his workforce has been let go, which would roughly equal about 800 people, which is not exactly a small number by any stretch of the imagination. It has also been reported, excuse me, as I discussed in a video just a few days ago that today the firm will shut down the, its EA partners label completely so we'll not be seeing anything from them in the future other than the games that are already set for release including Fuse. They have also been said to have closed PopCap Vancouver and Need for Speed world developer Quicklime Games. This is just another in a long line of basically major reduction and layoffs that they've been doing over the far past mm, couple of months actually. They've been cutting studios and staff left, right and centre. And as I said, it's been streamlining its business pretty hardcore, resulting in major layoff um, operation as it pits to sharpen its focus to provide games for new platforms and mobiles. According to an alleged letter sent to employees by the temporary CEO Larry Probst, and please excuse me for probably completely butchering that surname, EA is streamlining, streamlining a few different divisions, including moving EA Sports head Andrew Wilson to head up the Origin platform, and apparently it reads as such. Change is sometimes difficult but essential. The adjustments we are making will put us in the best position to build great games and services, deliver them more efficiently to consumers and demonstrate to players around the world why they spend their time with us. So it's really not good for EA at the moment. As I said, this is just another one in a long line of layoffs and studios that have been cut and now another 800 people have lost their jobs, which would equal about a thousand if the number of roughly 200 people that had been cut from various studios before was actually accurate which was never confirmed or denied by EA so I can't say that's a hundred percent true but let's just assume for the sake of argument that it is that means they've let go about a thousand people just in the last couple of months so it seems like they're definitely feeling the pinch after a pretty rough few months in terms of their game releases not doing all that well now, I know that everyone likes to hate on EA, and personally, I'm not exactly what you'd call a fan of their business practices, but I do definitely feel for the 800 people that have now lost their jobs, because that is not a good situation to be in. The fact that they work for EA does not make it okay, that they've unfortunately had to let go. I mean, I know on one hand, it's nice to see EA get a bit of a comeuppance after years of basically doing whatever the hell they felt like it and getting away with it. It's nice to see that they're learning a hard lesson about how they treat their consumers and maybe we'll see them change in the future because of it, but we'll have to see. But it's not a good thing that so many people have been let go. As I said, 800 people, that's not exactly a small amount. So, my thoughts and hearts go out to the people that lost their jobs today, but I'm hoping that this bad news can be turned towards the better. I know many people would want to see EA completely crumble, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, even with the rough few months that they've had. But I hope that these last few months with SimCity and Dead Space 3 and numerous other titles just really not working well for them, that they'll rethink their business strategy and their reputation among gamers, because they're they're pretty much despised by almost everyone who's into gaming in a serious hardcore level. And while Activision also get quite a bit of heat from time to time, it seems EA has pretty much become, well, gaming's version of Satan in the last couple of years. And you could argue that they have earned the hatred that is getting towards them. And yes, they have, very much so. But I don't want to see them crumble simply because, well, that would be a huge amount of people without jobs and a huge amount of 
games that would probably never see the light of day. And it's never a good thing when a big company like this falls. I mean, we saw it with THQ when they unfortunately crumbled at the seams. All of their IP had to be sold off. And while some of it has reached the hands of people who will probably do something with it, some of it has landed in hands that may not actually know what to do with the IP that they now have control of. So let's not hope for that, guys, but let's hope for a new and better EA. I know that seems very optimistic of me, but at heart, I am an optimist, even if that optimist is quite often smothered by my cynicist side. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.